Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I went through the drive through at McDonald's and holy smokers, they got a couple of new items, both spicy barbecue. One is the spicy barbecue chicken sandwich and the other one is the spicy barbecue tenders. And I got the chicken sandwich, and I have to give a special welcome to my viewers in India. It was very interesting that recently I was checking my stats for my channel, and that usually the UK is number two behind the United States. And within the last week or so, suddenly India moved up to number two over the UK. So. I have to say hello to everyone in India who's watching. Please comment down below if you are. Okay, so here's the box and it's the usual chicken box, nothing special. Disappointed there's no special packaging. And then inside here we have the sandwich. Zoom in a little closer there. See the crispy chicken. There's the raw onion. No special wrapper on the sandwich. Okay, so let's see what's on the inside here. Got the apparently spicy barbecue sauce. We've got the raw onions diced up here and got a couple of pickles. So that's all as far as the toppings. Basically it looks like a McRib where you've replaced the rib with chicken and the special McRib bun with the standard sesame seed bun. So I can say that the uh, aroma of this spicy barbecue sauce is definitely different from the regular barbecue sauce. You can see the chicken breast is a pretty decent size, the way it's extending out beyond the bun on both ends. And this is probably a good sandwich for people who don't like having lettuce and tomato on top. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, I only got a little tiny bit of the sauce in that first bite. It was mostly the standard buttermilk chicken, crispy chicken. Well, I took another couple of bites. There's still not any real noticeable heat coming off of it. It, flavor-wise, it's more like the McRib barbecue sauce than the barbecue sauce you get in the little cup for the nuggets. It'd be almost like you take the McRib barbecue sauce and then you put a little red or black pepper in it and mix it together. Hurricane Dorian is a tragedy that has unfolded on the screen of a 1990s television set here in room 109 of the Motel 3 in Youngstown, Ohio. I was watching CNN and all of a sudden the guy from Maroon 5 appears and starts pushing and shoving, pushing and shoving the reporters. He said, people are dying in the Bahamas where I have a four million dollar beach house. And you guys are here using your white privilege to report on toilet paper running out in front of the Home Depot in Palm Beach. Now, watch as I leap into my Sopwith camel like Errol Flynn on Adderall. With Maroon 5 song guest rapper, I don't know what his actual name is, that's just what I call him. He's a guy that talks in the background so our song can get on the charts. Contact. Contact. Here we are, high above the Caribbean. Look 
down there. I think I see people on rooftops. Quick Maroon 5 song guest rapper. Start dropping those packages. Those frozen turkeys. Bob, I couldn't believe it. Frozen turkeys, they were falling like bombs. They hit the rooftops and caused them to cave in. People are falling in. What are they gonna tell the families? Finally, the Maroon 5 guy landed back in Miami. Anderson Cooper and Fareed Zakaria were bringing it to a stop on either side. The Maroon 5 guy turned to the cameras. His face beat red. And said, as God is my witness, I thought frozen turkeys could fly. McDonald's has not run out of chicken unlike Popeyes. What I would rate is about a 1 out of 10 on the Robert Dyer heat scale. You could barely even call it a zing. It's just a barely perceptible heat. So if you were expecting even something like the spicy McChicken, hot and spicy McChicken, whatever they call it, uh, it's not even close to that level of heat by any means. It does have a good flavor though and I always like the McRib toppings. It's one of the things that makes the McRib so great. The raw onions, pickles, and uh, the important thing for the McDonald's boardroom is remember hashtag McRib 2019. We have to have McRib at every McDonald's location this year no exceptions. Everybody's got to carry it. McRib 2019. This was $4.49, so you're actually paying more than for the Chick-fil-A or Popeye sandwiches. Uh, I think it could be a dollar less, especially since there's no cheese or lettuce or tomato on there. I think they're making a pretty good margin on this sandwich. I also got a large vanilla shake right here. Always very good at McDonald's. That is $3.99. Then the criminal Montgomery County Council gets in on the act. 51 cents tax for themselves. Ridiculous as usual. I'm hoping that Bert Macklin can book them nine seats on the next flight of Con Air after the FBI looks into their criminal activities. I would probably get this again. I would recommend you give this a try. It's not going to change the world in any way. And it only makes me think more and more about how much I want to make rib after what is it now, eight years they haven't had it in Bethesda. But overall you still get the high quality buttermilk crispy chicken here. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this. It's going to get to a four stars out of five. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe so you don't miss my review of the spicy barbecue chicken tenders coming up at McDonald's. Bye everybody!